what is going on guys welcome to another tutorial on Ruby and in this lesson I want to talk to you guys about something called hashes now hashes are kind of like arrays but not exactly they have something called keys and values and instead of like a list of items like an array it's more like a dictionary and I'll show you how let me go ahead and give you an example I'm gonna name mine ha my hash example and like I said you set it equal to a list but not just a list of items, a list of keys and values. Now you can think of these as like terms and definitions. So the first thing you do is you give it the key or keyword. So Bucky and after that you use this little equals this little contraption here that looks like an arrow it's the equals greater than sign. And now after the key you give it the value. So what is this keyword equal to? Or what is pretty much the definition of this word? Bucky coolest guy ever. So there we have one term or key. Let's go ahead and do another one. Say we were making a list of people and their qualities. So next let's go ahead and put a person named Emma. And Emma is, let's just say that she's a very nice gal. <coughs> we'll say that's uh, Emma Roberts. And now let's go ahead and, I don't know, let's go ahead and get one more person. Peter and remember anytime you want to separate the key and value just go ahead and put equals greater than and we'll just say this is a family guy dude <clears throat> so now we have a list of three people keys and values go ahead and hit enter and that's gonna go ahead and store it in your memory now just like arrays we can call a couple of methods on this for example if we go ahead and print example which was the name of our hash we can go ahead and get the size of it and it says three nil, which pretty much means there are three things in this list, or three people, Bucky, Emma, and Peter. <coughs> oh, sorry guys, I'm getting over a cold. I was actually sick for like three weeks. I had no voice whatsoever. So if I sound a little funny, or if I, you know, just start coughing into the mic, spewing out blood, that's probably why. But anyways, aside from this, we can also do things like print out the values of these keys. So for example, what we created was basically a dictionary with terms and definitions people's names and descriptions or descriptive words so if we want to go ahead and get the description or definition we just want print the name of your hash which is example and the key in little square brackets so Bucky go ahead and hit enter and it comes back coolest guy ever so there you have if you want to make like a dictionary in Ruby or something this is probably your best bet but what if you made this hash and you're like that's pretty cool but there's one little thing that's wrong with this program someone wrote Bucky is the coolest guy ever when it was really supposed to be the fattest guy ever oh man how did we mess that up so this is how you change a key and give it an alternate value go ahead and type the name of your key which is example Bucky that means we're talking about the Bucky one and just set it equal to a new value like fattest guy Eva, we we'll write Eva like that, ghetto style. Now go ahead and hit enter, and it stores it. And if we go ahead and print out that hash, print example Bucky, it now says fattest guy Eva. So there's how you create a simple hash. Again, like I said, it's kind of like an array, but an array is basically just a list of stuff. This is a more complex list. It's kind of like a dictionary where you have terms and definitions, and they're technically called keys and values if you were to take a test or something so in order to change a key later on you just go ahead and set it equal to a different value so there you go there's a really basic explanation of what a hash is uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video